let's jump into bitters. Bitters are a little bit different than uh, bourbon and meat in the fat in the way that they do give you output CSS from the from the start. And what they do is you can think of it kind of as you know in uh, like Bootstrap's CSS properties. It's going to define the styles for your your forms here, your tables, and uh, you know your other things, your code, sub, sub, all of these different types of things, block quote, that need styling and even down to things like flash messages, um, your headlines, buttons, and you know, things like that. Um, so let's install, what is this? Oh, this is the wrong place. Uh, let's install bitters. We're going to say sudo gem install bitters cool successful so we're already in our plugins directory and I'm gonna say bitters install bitters files install to slash bitters great so when I go back to um, my plugins directory, I see bitters is there. I should go to my plugins directory file and say at import bitters slash <clears throat> bitters. Now a word about bitters, it, it doesn't include a, a reset or a normalize, which I'm gonna do myself. I found a minified normalize. Um, I'm gonna create a new file but normalize .scss. and I'm going to make it a SCSS so I can just paste it in and save and I'm going to import it here at dash done okay cool and Ruby tells me that plugins Oh, I spelled normalize wrong here. Normalize. There we go. And okay, we're all good. My output app CSS is going to have normalize in it. And actually, that was my. This is the code for my uh, uh, my my bourbon neat grid. So let's turn that off. Visual grid off or uh, false. And uh, I'll go back to our file here. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, our, our resulting rendered CSS will have um, normalized at the top, and then did we import bourbon already? Or sorry, do we import uh, bitters? Okay, bitters. And then uh, after normalize, we'll have bitters, which will be uh, styling for you know things like my H1s. Are going to be Helvetica, uh, you know, text rendering, all these kind of things that we want to make sure we do, but they're just kind of so tedious and to do, and especially if you go project to project pretty quickly, uh, this is going to be a great like uh, baseline for us to start from. Now, Bitters is going to have a, um, a variables sheet where we can go in and, and remember Bourbon had Helvetica. What if we change this to um, mono? Is it mono or mono space? I think it's mono space. Um, now it'll be a space. It's fun, huh? Cool. Um, that'll be for the whole site. So our variable sheet is really powerful, and you can out and you can define um, the different colors that are going to be used, like the base text link color, you know, the borders, and, and all. So you can define what's going to be used in bidders to set the bases for uh, the um, for your file or for all of your defaults. So the, in the example here, we have you know the headings, paragraphs, lists, styles, form elements. All of this stuff is stuff is gonna is gonna be styled and look great. It's like the the base the baseline standardized styling. So for any new element you want to add a form, it's gonna look good. It's not gonna look like the default uh, browser styles.